Morita came out with a new product. It's called Just Crack an Egg. Is it good? Is it bad? Or a little bit of both? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another product review vlog. And today it's about this product I saw at ShopRite. It's called Just Crack an Egg. It's an omelet bowl similar to the egg bowl that Dunkin' Donuts is now selling. Uh, in this particular case, there's various different omelet concoctions. This one's called the Rustic Scramble. And I think we also had the uh, All-American or Power Scramble, I forget, Ultimate Scramble, I forget what it was. But the concept is you have these ingredients, you peel this layer off, you have these ingredients. The package looks real nice, you know? But you open it up, it looks like rations from some sort of camp. Uh, you get a bag of vegetables, uh, a little bag of meat, and a little bag of cheese. Um, this was obviously made on an assembly line with a robotic uh, uh, equipment. God knows. But uh, you're supposed to just crack one egg and stick it in this bowl for uh, a minute or two. 40 seconds, you gotta stir it halfway through or whatever, and then you eat your egg. Now, at first I, I looked at the carbs, they had various different concoctions. Some, the lowest of the carb bunch were, were three grams total carbs and there was a, about a gram of fiber, so it's a net gram, uh, two grams of carbs per bowl, three ounces of food. And uh, some of them were as high as eight, I believe. I forget, I think the All-American one, I forget. But there's potatoes, you can't even see them. There's like, like maybe one-tenth of an ounce of potatoes in there. You, you can taste it when you eat it. But I, for one, don't recommend that people cook anything in the microwave besides water. Uh, the microwave destroys your food for the most part. So we don't, I mean, if you're really in a hurry and don't feel like warming something up in the oven. The microwave can be used, and I've been guilty of using it myself, sometimes to heat up a piece of meat real quick just to, to warm it up, or to melt some cheese, sometimes I do that as well. But uh, I wouldn't recommend that. And the reason I say it's good, bad, and both, um, it's good for someone, I guess, just starting out on the low carb, uh, routine and they it, it there's a convenience factor to this you know for you to cook your own sausage eggs and I mean uh, potatoes and onions obviously you got to buy a whole onion a whole potato and so on and potatoes are a little bit of a pain in the neck to make um, although we don't recommend potatoes at all on a low carb diet they're just starchy vegetables that don't really do much for you, you stick with your meat but I guess someone just starting out, if you don't want to fall into a trap of eating a, an egg sandwich and you really just want something quick, say you're at work and you just want to have something quick and you're stretched for time and don't have the time to prep uh, a good meal, then this is not such a bad thing. I guess it's better than a whole lot of other things. But we ate this, we prepared it on a pan um, and I didn't just use one egg, I used three eggs. So I, I took all these ingredients and sauteed them on the pan for a couple minutes just to get them hot and then I added my eggs and uh, and I put, uh, what do you call it, some extra cheese on there and I cooked it in butter and it came out okay. It tasted like, like a scrambled egg omelet um, and I tasted the potatoes. You, it had that distinct potato taste. Uh, but something about this, because they are made in, like for shelf life, you know, they have to have some kind of shelf life, a week or two or three. I forget what the expiration date was on this. I don't think they even printed on the package, but it says here, I can't even read it. It's something like, I think that's just a production date. You can taste the artificial ingredients and they say on the package here, uh, no artificial flavors, dyes, or preservatives. Um, something about it ha is, is unpleasant for us you know, body-wise. I mean, there's dextrose in it, sugar, uh, sodium phosphates, and modified cornstarch to prevent caking. They do that a lot in the cheeses, the shredded cheeses. We actually recently recommended avoiding shredded cheese. Just shred your own blocks of cheese or buy sliced cheese that doesn't have the potato starch or cornstarch. Yes, it's only a little bit, and it's all for convenience, but if you can avoid it, just don't, don't do it. 
Um, and when you're carnivore, for us, like we are for the most part, I know I thought, you know, three ounces of extra stuff is not such a big deal. And I guess in the big scheme of things, it's not such a big deal, but it affects your body. Your body doesn't really like these types of ingredients like potatoes, onions, and mushrooms, and tomatoes. It, it just, when you don't eat it for a while and you put just even a couple ounces in your body, you just don't feel right. It feels unnatural. And I don't care what they say on their package. This is a mass produced, low quality food product. If you're, you know, if you need to eat, just eat an egg. Just cook an egg up on a pan or hard boil an egg and throw some, a heaping pile of sea salt on it and you'll be a lot better off. Um, learning to live without these flavors is probably a good step you want to take. So that's it. That's my tip. I don't think it's the bad thing. I think you can do better. You're better off just eating the egg alone. And that's it. Enjoy your low-carb keto carnivore journey.